Welcome back to school and to another season of Mustang Television. Today's lunch is lasagna with garlic toast. The government still tells us what we can eat for lunch. Today's weather looks like it's going to be cold and stuff. Might get a little warmer tomorrow and things. Today's trivia question is, what is the term for background information gi given at the beginning of a story? Your, cho your choices <laughs> are A, composition, B, climax, C, rising action, D, Mr. Good's foot. Once again, today's trivia question is, what is the term for background information given at the beginning of a story? Your choices are A, composition, B, climax, C, rising action, and D, Mr. Good's foot. Now Gabe's going to tell you what is going on in the world. In the world today, former Subway spokesman Jared Fogle is expected to plead guilty of child pornography charges. The sandwich chain suspended its relationship with Fogle earlier this year after investigation, investigators raided his Indiana home. Earlier this week in Bangkok, an unknown suspect bombed the Irwan Shrine, killing 20 people and wounding more than 120 people. Suspect is still at large. The biggest movies of this summer are Endurance at number one, Jurassic World at number two, Fantastic Four at number three, and Avengers Age of Ultron at number four. The television premieres to look forward to are Fear of the Walking Dead, Ash vs. Evil Dead, Best Time Ever, Chicago Med, and Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. And now Avery with some sports. The Cleveland Cavaliers have reportedly offered basketball player J.R. Smith an offer lower than the one he declined earlier. He declined it to begin an unrestricted free agent to become. The Indianapolis Colts and the Chicago Bears play Saturday at, at 7.30. It's a great rivalry and you should all watch this great game. Now on over to Gabe. On August 25th, Hanover College will have representatives set up in the high school library. Juniors and seniors may sign up in the guidance office to meet with the representatives. There will be a drama club meeting today after school in Miss Owen's room at 310. School picture day is Thursday, August 27th, but seniors will be getting their senior headshots from Doug's studio. And back to my boy Avery with some school sports and news. This past Tuesday, the boys tennis team played at Crawfordsville. The boys lost as a team 2-3, to three, but Ladd, Warner, and Austin Wright won at number 2 and number 3 singles. Way to be awesome, guys. The boys play again today at Attica. As you all probably know, we have a new football coach, Mr. Raymond Jones. The football boys play tomorrow at Southmont to start the year off. Let's kick some Mountie butt. Now, here's a short interview with Coach Jones. How do you like coaching Fountain Central football? I, en I enjoy coaching football, and I'm excited to be here at Fountain Central and have the opportunity to coach here at Fountain Central. It's, it's a school with a great tradition um, it, and I, I enjoy it a lot. I, I do like Fountain Central. What do you expect out of the team this year? I, I expect the same things out of teams in the past. Um, compete for a sectional championship um, and can always be toward the top of the conference and compete for a conference championship. Who are some of the top teams we will face in the conference this year? Um, North Vermillion obviously won state last year, so they're going to be toward the top of the conference again. They brought back some really good athletes. Um, Rockville and Attica. Attica is going to be young, but they always they have a good coaching staff, so they always do a good uh, good job there. So, those are three teams that will really be good. And I think Covington will be a, will be a decent team this year, and, and they keep improving. So, are you nervous about coaching your first game as a as a head coach at Fountain Central? Um, nervous? Not really. More excited than nervous. I, I, it's a. I'm excited for the first game. I can't. I can't wait to, till Friday night gets here. But, um, so I, I'm more excited than nervous. I can't wait. Who are some of your coaching role models? Um, I've had a lot of good coaches that I've played under when I was in high school. Um, and I also when I was at Ball State, I coached under a, a good. Um, coach over there so the coaches that I've coached under um, and played under are really have influenced me to get into coaching and uh, um, do that kind of stuff and I, it's just those are the people that I really look up to and talk to about when I have questions and stuff so who are some players that have made big strides since last season uh, I, there's a there's so many that have just made that have worked hard over the off season we had 35 kids almost at every workout this summer. So everybody's worked and improved throughout the off season and looking for, forward to a bunch of um, athletes stepping in and playing this year. So it's just a bunch of big group. 
Basketball coach Jason Good has never seen us lose to South Mon football. What, what are you going to do to ensure that trend continues? Well, I, I, I hope he doesn't ever see us lose to South Mon football. Um, we're, we've had a good week of practice so far, and we're going to have two more really good days. Um, and then we're just going to we're going to do what we do and go fast and beat South Mon. And what can you tell fans to look for in our South Mon game this week? Uh, South Mont's a good team. Um, they have a, a bunch of good athletes this year, just like they always do. Um, so I just look for them, look f t tell the fans to look forward to an exciting game, um, fast paced, and hopefully we score a lot of points and they don't score many at all. Thank you, sir, for coming to this interview today. Hey, thank you. Thank you. On Tuesday, the boys' tennis team played at Kroger. Oh, wait. Oh. The boys lost as a on Tuesday. Uh, on Tuesday, the boys' tennis team played at Carpentersville. The boys lost as a team two to three, but Lad Warner, the best, the B, the best of a man he is. The bees. And Austin, <laughs> he is. And Austin Wright won at number two and number three singles. The boys play again today at Attica. Volleyball had a game last night at Turkey Round, but they couldn't finish it. They'll play again tonight. There will be a drama club meeting today for all drama members in Mrs. Owen's room after school. Cameron's mom works in the cafeteria this year. Be nice to her, I know where you live. Thanks for watching my first show. I hope you guys will see me again. Yeah, bye. So you think you guys can do anything that you don't really have to, you can't really talk to each other. Big red. World, small ribs, ugly girls, none of that in Dan Twice World. Got more than one dollar, yeah, my money is plural. That's how I does it in Dan Twice World. Top down, top down in the Cadillac, washing Hannah Montana and counting my steps. One, two, three, four, now I'm out. I speak from the heart, homie, not from the